Hey guys, it's me. I know you can't see me right now, but that's because I'm in the dark. And there's only a little bit of light, and that's coming from the bathroom. But what I'm here to show you is how to play this game of Cabela's The Hunt Championship Edition, which is a brand new game to the Nintendo Switch. Let's continue on. Alright, so right here, I had to delete my old character T-Man because he was a little too far ahead. So the first thing we've got to do is get started with the selection of whatever gender character you want. Alright, so we're going to go all the way here. So that's one of them you can decide if you want. You got that guy, this woman, that guy, him, him, that woman, that guy, that woman, that guy, and him. But personally, I kind of like him. So I'm going to go for him and I'm going to call him Viper. You know, just as a good beginning name. I might delete him later. Just after I show you guys how fun this is. You're going to want to go to Arcade. And the first thing you want to do is go to Season Hunt. That's the first thing. And this will show you that you can go to either Level Select... Equipment, King of Bucks, or Quit. Now personally, if you go to King of Bucks and you don't have it, they're just going to show you an empty wall full of just nothing. If you want that to actually have something, go to this. This is where you can first bag your very first King of Bucks. And you'll be able to tell after you... Scope towards the animal. Then you just got to hit the up arrow right here. See? The up arrow. Welcome to and then that's Bell. when you just highlight position. right at North the animal. American Don't team. shoot anything. This just will take just you to nine aim. Locations to Look close at the animal. The and if it so, shows a sign that says King of Bucks, shoot it when you got a good shot. Let's begin in Washington. Allow me to demonstrate. Use the left stick first, to move and the right stick to aim. First, we gotta go directly to the shooting range. Basic shooting controls are as follows. Press the ZR button to shoot. Press the ZL button to use your scope. Press up directional button to zoom in and down directional button to zoom out. Press the Y button to manually reload. Sorry, I'm a little bit um, not so steady on this. Nice shooting. See? To switch weapons, hold the L button and press left or right directional buttons to cycle through items. Release the L button to equip the weapon you selected. The shotgun is an effective firearm for hunting fowl. Try switching to your shotgun. Right, I just to try switched to shotgun. I will tell you the uh, button or what you need to press later. The gun is a viable alternate weapon. Good in close quarters. Switch to your handgun. Alright, so this is the handgun. Okay. You want to shoot the targets. 
Whatever weapon he tells you to equip, Excellent. you equip the weapon he tells you to. Now it's telling you to go from the rifle to the shotgun, and then from shotgun to handgun, and then handgun to bow. Bows are silent and provide a real draw, challenge. Uh, the They're also a little different to control. One button that you use to Hold fire the other weapons. To draw. Release it to fire. See what I'm doing? It's okay, guys. I know you're probably not used to this game, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. Great job. Let's move on. See? All the targets Still are destroyed. Still nowhere to target an animal now to we take it do down that. cleanly. The heart, lungs, and head are vital spots. Heart, lungs, and head. These targets have the kill zones marked on them. Use them to help you identify the ideal shot. Nicely done. There you go. First thing. Your GPS is a very useful tool. Use it to access maps, the tournament leaderboard, and check out what tags you have. Remember Press all that, the B guys. the button to access your GPS. See the red dot on the map? I'm waiting for you there. Alright, that's where we have to go, you guys. An ATV will get you there faster. So hop on this one, walk up to it, and press the R button. The R button, which is the right top trigger. Hold the ZR button to accelerate. The ZR button to use six R. using the left thumbstick. And the left thumbstick to steer. Hold the ZL button to brake and reverse. You have to use the left thumbstick to steer while you're holding the ZR button. Because if you're trying to steer and you're not really accelerating, you're not really going to go anywhere. And you're not even moving the vehicle if you're doing that. So, let's just see how we do on this very first hunt. Now, to get on, use the top right trigger to get off. Use the same top right trigger. <coughs> Sorry, I'm calling. Great, you're here. First, I'm going to introduce you to stealth mode. If used correctly, it will allow you to get close enough to an animal to line up the perfect shot. There's a deer just over this hill. Stick to the edge of the pass to avoid being spotted. He's just over this little rise directly in front of you. Alright, so right up in front right there. Right on the pathway is the deer. Now he's going to say, whoa, slow down. Watch. Whoa, slow down. Told you. He'll say that to you if you go too fast. Whoever the person is that's speaking to your guy, listen to him. Follow every single one of his directions, or trust me, you will not be able to kill your first target without his instructions being done and executed properly. Same thing with a job. Do it correctly, and you'll actually be able to do everything just the way that it's supposed to be done. See, that deer is going to show up. Watch. Watch this, guys. Animals leave all sorts of clues to help us find them. 
You need to keep your eye out for footprints, scat, and markings on trees. When you spot one of these clues, Sorry guys. approach it and press the I'm right turn stick to and find out what you're tracking. It's just something that's stuck in my throat, tickling it. Alright, so here's what you gotta do in this game. Go here. When you see one of those targets that are having like one of those light up beacons, kind of like this one in front of me, go to it, press down on the right thumbstick to track whatever it is that left it. And if you choose to use your rifle, go for it. But I think it's actually better if you use your bow because it'll bring the target down quickly and quietly. If you use your rifle, you're going to scare off that target and whatever target might be close by. So remember, bow is way more accurate. Not accurate, but it'll be way more efficient to use a bow in this hunt that way you can bring down one animal with the bow and then use your rifle to bring to bring down the next one and remember stealth always press the x button to use your stealth because if you don't the animal will hear you and it will run away you're going to get to see this up until I actually complete this. And the last animal is going to be the King of Bucks. Without a doubt, the King of Bucks non-typical is going to be my kill. And you'll get to see it. Every time you make a kill on the King of Bucks, it'll do something right after the body disappears. Now watch. watch this, you guys. I know I'm whispering, but I'm trying to act like a real hunter. I'm trying to pretend like it's me in here. I've actually beat this whole game, if you can't really tell. Excellent work reading those tracks. Now here's a trick that will bring the animals to you. An animal's sense of smell is highly developed. Bucks often investigate the scent of a doe or another buck in your territory. Head to the location I've just marked on your GPS and wait for my instructions. This video might be long, but... You might want to take your ATV. It's a long walk. See, that's the guy who talks to you. I'm choosing to take the ATV, even though I could go without it. See, so press the L to Z button, because the RZ is accelerate, LZ is to back up and reverse. So I'm going to complete this and then after that I plan to upload this and another video to my channel. You will see two more videos uploaded to my channel. So watch out for those videos because trust me they're going to be fun to watch. If they weren't then I would not have made them. I wouldn't make a gaming video if I wasn't 
going to do it for fun and enjoyment purposes. Use the strength. Press the L button and scroll this using the left and right directional estrus. buttons until you find the doe estrus scent. Release. Now take cover of that blind and see if any nearby buck took your bait. Alright, so this is the next step. After you place the bait, get in the stand. Okay, see that deer? See, I was so ready to shoot that buck. All right, here we go. Bam, there we go. Well done. Now let me tell you a bit about tags and reputation. <coughs> to legally shoot an animal, you need to have a tag. You will be given a set at the start of each level. An animal claimed with a tag will result in an award of reputation. You must earn a certain amount of reputation to advance through each day of the tournament. An animal claimed without a tag will result in a warning and a fine. You'll only receive three warnings before you're kicked out of that region. Remember that, guys. He just told Pay you. Pay attention to the information box that pops up when you have an animal in your sights. It will indicate if you have a tag for that animal. Now it says check your GPS. So I'm checking it. You can clearly see where I'm at. The Y button is to reload. The, um... The L, Z button here, the top L button here, the left top trigger is to bring up what guns you have on you that you can use at any time. The L, Z button is to aim, except with a compound bow. Can't really aim with a compound bow, they don't let that happen. You use the left and right buttons after you bring up the weapon area to select whatever you want. And then you let go after you highlight what you want to equip it. See it said number 77. Watch carefully guys. I'm not shooting this next animal with a rifle. No. This elk, I'm either gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot it with a bow and if it gets killed by the bow and arrows, then good. If not and it scares it to go off in a different direction, that's not leading towards my trophy, then fine. At least then I don't gotta worry about it. But remember, use a bow to scare off your target that you do not a target that you don't want. Or you can wound the target and it'll scare off by itself. This game's a lot of fun. I don't know why no one's ever thought about creating a video about it. See, I just killed it. Now if you're wanting to kill a random animal, first locate one. See how that raccoon's right there? See, I killed it right through the bush. That way, it doesn't scare off my target. You have earned enough reputation to unlock Georgia. To get there, head to the map in the Cabela store. Would you like to go now? And I'm going to say no, because I'm not stopping until I've actually found the King of Bucks and brought him down for you guys. That was the point before I actually end this little playthrough. I'm trying to make my videos fun. That's the whole point. That was an elk, but I'm not bringing down another one because I only had a t one single tag 
for one elk. I don't have any more tags for any more elks. Now, if you, if it sees me and runs away, that's fine. As long as it doesn't scare the king of bucks from seeing where I'm at. It'll probably just run past the king of bucks and just go away. We'll see. That's the king of bucks right there. You see that, guys? Watch this. See, the King of Bucks actually disappeared. So, since I already did that, I'm going to have to restart. Because, for some reason, I actually scared it off. And that wasn't part of the plan. The plan was to shoot him down. That was the plan. But, you're going to see it. Look, it just says... I hate when it does the sucker too fast. That is so annoying. I'll show you. You guys will get to see what the trophy room I have on the team in the Fierce file. But right now, the one that I named by a different name. I forgot this guy's name. I'm not going to worry about it. But let's just worry about getting to where the king of bucks is we're going to sneak in and we're not going to worry where he is we're just going to try to get in a good position and bring him down this is the point of the video we have to bring the king of bucks down so you guys can see what happens after you've done that so we'll go here There's a wolf and other animals in this game that you're allowed to kill, but just a heads up, don't shoot the female animals or you will literally get a warning or a fine or something like that put on you. And if you shoot too many females or anything, you will be kicked out of that region and you might not be able to come back. Like the game said. Okay, here we go. Another hunt, or in this case, another attempt. I'm not trying to make my videos long, but apparently the King of Bucks is actually in there, so I've got to try to get in there and not scare it off, because if I scare it off, then I'm not going to keep restarting and restarting and restarting just for the chance to actually kill him. If I miss this chance... Then you're just going to have to wait until part two comes out where I'm going to make only a part two showing how I kill it. And what happens after you've killed it. But let's make this a, a non-repeat type thing. Because I only had to repeat it once and let's hope that's enough.
See? Brought down that animal. <coughs> See, I had to scare that animal off. I don't believe it scared off the king of bucks. You'll get to see it as long as I stay with within the darkness or shadows without being seen. If I don't get seen or scented by the king of bucks, then I will be able to bag this thing. And you guys are going to get to see it. You hear that? See? Bagged him. Now check this out. That's what happens after you've bagged the King of Bucks by killing him. And then that symbol that they're putting that says Cabela's next to that, that's what happens. Alright, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Until part two is released, this is T-Man signing out.